Hello folks and welcome. So this video ought to be fairly quick. Uh, this is on the KDE Plasma 527.8. That would be the testing version. If you want to call it beta, we can call it beta too, but, uh, but it's a testing version. So this is for you curious folks that are, well, seeing what uh, the uh, newest Plasma desktop is up to. So I'll show you some change log information, show you a little bit about uh, Debian if you don't know too much about Debian and uh, talk about the official release versus this one. So today's date is October 13th. So there was a new piece of information on Debian's website regarding this information. So 527.8, the official release I believe is 527.5. This is using a 6.5 series kernel. Now if you decide to uh, install this testing version, again testing version, and again if you want to call it beta, uh, that's fine, but testing version. Um, this does actually boot up after you install it in the Wayland graphics platform. Now the Wayland graphics platform is not very kind to my recording software that I use. I use nothing but open source software. And I, I usually use Simple Screen. Simple Screen is not available in their, um, their software store. But uh, Voco NG is, and that's what I'm using here. However, Voco MG wasn't very kind on the default installation for the Wayland desktop, so hence I logged out and logged back in to the X11. You can do that rather easily by, um, as soon as you get ready to log in, you'll see a selection down in the left corner. All right, let's move along. So I'm filming a 1920 by 1080. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary, since uh, some of them default to 460. This does look very nice in 4K by the way, and I'm certainly capable of cranking that up, but I thought I'd spare you the smaller icons. All right, with that said, I do have also lots of videos on my YouTube site on all kinds of tips and tricks if you've never seen them. You may see some of those today if you have never seen any of my videos. But in either case, let's take a peek at um, maybe DistroWatch and Debian. So I'm gonna go full screen my way and I'll go to 140% and hopefully that's good enough. So today's date is the 13th of October. So uh, today also there was a change down here with Debian on today's date. And I'll show you those in a second. But more importantly, if you don't know too much about Debian, Debian has been around a long time. Debian is an independent distribution and it's global. They have tons of desktops and also server software. They also offer live medium. That means you can test drive it. You can also use the net installer to install a lot of these desktops. You can also uh, download their ISO images and also the testing version for this. That's what I'm using today. Debian.org is their website. So let me keep scrolling. And oh, by the way, I don't use the popularity factor on DistroWatch. I do like the layout though, and the culmination of information including this stuff down here. So the unstable version or testing version, if you want to call it, is what we're talking about today. This was done today, 1013, and that's where I'm filming. So you can see the different, uh, so the official release is bookworm. You can see the different version numbers in here, but I'm just going to focus in on the Plasma desktop. So 527.5, if I scroll up, is bookworm, the official release. That's what's on their website if you try to download the standard version of the Plasma desktop. But so 527.8, a little bit higher number. So what's in here? So let's go take a peek at the uh, KDE.org information regarding Plasma 527.8. And um, uh, yeah, 160 ought to do it, 170, whichever. All right. so. I'm going to slowly scroll through this. I'm not certainly going to read this, but these are their change logs and, and commit information. You can find this info on kde.org if you like. But I'm going to slowly scroll. All my videos have timelines and chapters and always have on this new channel. Okay, I'm just slowly scrolling. You know, there's a couple of things that come to mind. There's uh, some updates also on KRunner if you're not familiar with KRunner. That's that application that runs in the background that's always looking to see what you're typing. 
All right, hopefully that was good enough for you. So I will scroll back out. So you can see there's quite a few changes that have been done in here. All right, I'm gonna pull this straight down and we're gonna, I'll just use Alt and F4. All right, so lots of changes. So K runner is always looking. So I, if I type in CAL for calculator and hit enter. I can also, uh, since this is too tiny for me to play with, I, I usually just double click on these things. I can also double click or I can also click and hold and go straight up and pull down. I can also, um, now I can hold down the shift key and pull down. It makes this full screen this way and double click to go completely that way. Now I'll pull this and do an Alt and F4. So the file manager, a couple of tips in there. You can certainly use the old fashioned way of resizing or you can do it my way. This is the smallest and this is the largest. Double click, double click, click and hold, pull straight down, hold down your shift key and pull down and double click. Just a couple of tips in there for you. I show most of those on my, on all file managers. That's too small for me to click. So in either case, I will um, do the about thing. So this is 23.08.1. Let's go through the menu, starting at favorites. Let's open up discover and let's go take a peek at that. Double click. So um, 527.8. This again is the testing version. So um, we have these enabled. Again, these are a little different from the standard one, but you can also install if you're playing, if you want the flat pack backends and snap. Okay, this is quite zippy in my book. So if you're looking for something, um, I'll just type in Cal and hit enter. And um, we need to be in all applications for a second because I was downstairs. So I'll just do this one more time. Cal, enter. So if I'm interested in, I don't know what, what are we going to go with? How about, uh, how about the top one? Whatever it might be. So you can do it this way. If we go full screen, I have an install key here and here. And in the condensed mode, I have it only on one spot. A lot of these have screenshots. So and some maybe not so much. Continuing on, I'm just gonna quickly walk through the menus, folks, because I'm not gonna make this about a comprehensive because this is a testing version, but I wanted to let you see what's in there. The Firefox ESR is in here. Um, Kate, I'm kind of fond of that text editor, especially for the resizing of text on the fly. God, GIMP does come installed, it's like Photoshop, for some of you folks that are not familiar with GIMP. Uh, here's your internet category. You got the Firefox and Conqueror. I added the Voco Screen NG so I could film this. Um, the LibreOffice comes installed, so I will open this up and just give you a version number. That would be 7.5.6.2. That is their latest. And uh, let's continue on. I left it office, I think. Yes. And settings, system, utilities. Always a good idea to use the screenshot tool if you're making changes. And uh, what do we have for themes? You got these guys installed. I'm not really going to cover any of this. I just wanted to let you take a peek at this. See what's on there. icon sets and cursors using that blue one. Sometimes I install different cursors on most of my videos. They're re really easy to install. And you can use, actually use your file manager to install cursors. It's pretty simple. All right, I think I am pretty much done here. Uh, other than the fact that you can also do the double click thing and you can do it the old fashioned way. It takes me a while to find that little button so I'm going to use Alt and F4 and say thank you for watching.